what's up superstars back at you again with another video just coming to reach out to y'all just getting off work I had to make a couple of errands so let me reach out to y'all see what's going on talk about the state of the world and what's uh what directions we need to be headed in as individuals you know so you know as you can see it's not too crowded here but most places I've been, there's been a lot of traffic on the roads, job sites, and you know, places uh, are starting to be filled up again. Uh, people getting a little lax with the social distancing, so you gotta be uh, conscious to take care of yourself and make sure that you don't allow them to, you know, uh, invade your space, I guess you could say. So um, those type of things are going on uh just finding your way around just trying to see what's it's not a lot things the things you can do still because uh you know those type of places aren't really open um maybe some bike riding or something like that is a good idea i'm actually considering that myself you know uh that's a good way to exercise too and it's something that's not prohibited you can still social distance while you're bike riding even if you're bike riding riding with friends or loved ones so that's always a good thing to do you want to just get out the house if you're going stir crazy um uh what else uh maybe do you i'm thinking about going to a do-it-yourself car wash you know one of those where you go there yourself and you sit there and wash your car that's something you can do by yourself as well and my car could use it because i hadn't washed it in a while now so little things like that um can't wait for the things to open back up because uh, I want to, you know, the weather's about to break, you know, horseback riding and stuff like that. I like to do that. Uh, they have some in the D.C. Maryland, Virginia area um, where you can go and actually get to ride the horses and enjoy them. I've been doing it for, for a while now. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. Horseback riding, uh, I, I ski, uh, dirt bikes, motorcycles, four-wheelers. Um, you know, I was even supposed to go... Uh, uh, skydiving but uh, I got called out of town on an emergency for a project on the weekend that I was supposed to go skydiving that's funny because I paid for it everything I did every, it was the only thing I didn't do was get to go uh, I found out you know how what you have to do because you have to start out you know you actually take the class to learn how to do the uh, pack your parachute you always want to pack your own so you don't have to trust someone else with your life um then you do three tandem jumps before you can do a solo jump so right at the beginning of my tandem jumps i did it didn't happen and then just life took over and i never got her back around to it so to date i still haven't been unfortunately that's something i still want to do i'll do it one day um i just i guess i'm a, like one of those thrill seekers i like to drive fast i like uh, motorcycles you know what i mean i like roller coasters any any of those type of things I'm cool with. I got a lot of hobbies like uh, video games, you know, uh, remote control, uh, helicopters, uh, nitro power cars. I got a couple of cars. One that does like about 65, 75 miles per hour, and the other one that does. Well, since I've upgraded, it's doing about 90 now, like real miles per hour for a 10th scale car. So that's pretty fast. Um, and it's not the electric you, you know you get electric you can go over 100 easy but i i like the uh it's the same thing like real cars like i like the noise the the, the nitrous i like the fumes you know the fun of tuning the engines and all of that stuff so that's all kind of fun then the helicopters uh, i got ha actually have one i need to build i haven't built it yet um i got another one that i guess the vibrations must have uh got the screws over time I use thread lock on everything but it uh the head to the rotor flew off one day so I need to fix that but that's an older model I don't even know if I want to you know build it or maybe I will after I build the other one up and get all the electronics and everything for that um looking to get into drones obviously when things uh, start to pick up, I want to have some drone footage. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I've been looking at them, um, the DJI's, because they have the GPS where they can follow you. So you know, have them in uh, when I'm, I can be in the car and just uh, 
have it fall on me or you know be out somewhere and have it uh, getting little scenic nice scenic shots that kind of stuff so looking at that uh, I'm just I'm all over the place because I'm just trying to uh, find my niche I guess find my groove you know obviously I'm I'm a, a car guy at heart you know I love cars you know and all of that stuff but uh, I can't go out and buy a Lamborghini right now so <laughs> that's just what that is I'm no different than most people but that's sitting here watching this but other than that um, like I said I have a lot of different interests I like watches you know I look at it I do a lot of uh, window shopping online with luxury watches and just the pricing you know some of that stuff it can get kind of expensive but you can actually get some nice watches for you know yeah, it depends on what you call reasonable but you know like a couple of grand um, and that's not uh, that's not really bad when you consider that a lot of these watches are handmade you know the hand Swiss watch industry the big deal with them is that they like to do uh, handmade movements and you know the complications and all of that stuff that's why you can get to some of those watches cost so much because it may take hundreds and hundreds of hours just to make one watch you know so you imagine how much you know someone's doing that and probably making a decent living so you got to pay for that plus pay for the myriad materials plus you know they want to make money off of it too then the exclusivity with with anything drives the price up so you know I'm just I'm understanding that it's like getting into what complications are and what a GMT is and turbine you know and the uh, day date versus the perpetual calendar and then the world clocks and, and it's just so many you know the different things that they do within these watches that it's amazing when you see like a minute repeater and all of these things within the watch where it's really like dinging and it's more than sometimes you know depending on the amount of money you want to uh, spend or that you have to spend on how complicated it really gets with the multiple bells not just trying to make it seem like it's multiple but it actually being multiple different chimes inside the watch so it's a like I say, I, I have a lot of different things that I like to do. I'm one of those people that I'm not, uh, I'm not one way. You know, I, I like a lot of different things. Unfortunately, right now, a lot of my tastes, uh, <laughs> I, they outweigh my pockets. So, you know, you can enjoy, learn, and just enjoy just seeing things and learning new things. And that's, you know, that's just a part of life, just learning and growing in different ways, becoming a better version of yourself. That's what I'm always, you know, looking at that and, and always still looking at uh, different things I can learn to help uh, boister my career, you know, even though I'm looking to one day no longer have to do this type of work. But while I am, I want to continue to earn more money and to be able to provide better for my family and uh, eliminate some of the money problems. You know, I think I talked about that in the last blog that uh you know everybody has problems even people with money but when money isn't a problem that takes a big load off your chest because when you stressed out about money and it's nothing you can do it's like whoa you know it's rough you know it's rough and uh, uh i can say i'm blessed i'm not stressed out about money but i'm not in a position where i can do what i would like to do i can't just go out and you know take the trips that I would like to trip like to take without uh, planning it or uh, buy the things I want to buy without you know trying to uh, save and budget and do all the things that you know how it is we, you know we're basically we're working class and I'm no different so I have to consider all of those things with everything I can't just spur the moment but that's where I'm looking to to move to, you know, to be able to do different things, and and that's part of the uh, journey that I'm doing here. Is you all see me grow, and like I say, I'm not gonna be one of those guys that once I get to a, you know, hundred thousand, million, however many subscribers I'm blessed to get over the timeline. You know, I'm shooting for the stars, hoping I land in the stars too. You know. Uh, I'm, I, I would like to one day have 10 million followers, you know, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I mean, I'm definitely, I'm interested in all of those things. I'm willing to put the work in and the time in and the sacrifice that whatever it takes to get there, 
and you know exercising the patience putting these videos out you know even when there's not a lot of people watching that's okay you know they'll all be there maybe once you know things get popping then uh, people will go back and look at them and that'll you know still be they'll get more views over time when people want to go back and look and see how it started out and all of that so that's why I'm posting that's why I like shoot these type of videos so that y'all can get to see more into my mind and you know you get to identify with me and then as uh, things grow and I get to start seeing you all out in public and we talk we have some commonality where we can uh, speak to one another you know what I mean have a decent conversation not just about nobody being a fan that's why I call you all superstars I will keep reiterating that because it's not like I don't want somebody to meet me when I got a million followers and think that I think I'm this or I think I'm that. Uh, it's gonna be the I'm gonna be the same. That's one thing I can say about me. I don't change with uh, success or money or different things like that. I'm gonna be to myself. I I know that about me. So he will be able to have those conversations. That's one of the things I like about tall guy, uh, car review, slim, you know, Corey, however you want to call him, because he. Uh, that's how he is. He take the time out when the people run into people. He sit there and he chop it up with them, like real talk. And a lot of people don't. They wanna, you know, they they trying to become uh, reclusive. You know what I mean? They wanna get money and get the views, but don't wanna interact with people. Well, it's different from movie stars and being on this type of platform because you're more personable when you allow people into your life. You know what I mean? So. I, I think about all of that stuff and I try to make sure I, I say it all the time because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm walking it like I'm talking and I'm keeping it at the forefront of my mind. So, you know, as like I said, as things go, go and progress and I get to a better place, then I want to do things for you all. You know, obviously I have to be in a position to do it, but yeah, that's, that's one of my goals is to be able to help people that's, you know, taking their time out to watch me and that kind of thing. So everything happens in this due time and uh, and uh, I'm here for the long haul and I hope that you all are here with me. And uh, and I think that's about it for the day. And I say thank you for uh, tuning in, watching this video. Thank you for subbing, liking, subscribing. Please do all of the above if you haven't already. And uh, let's take this journey together. So y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, stay safe, COVID is still real. And um, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.